dousing fires on multiple fronts. The explosion at the power station and yet another cable theft incident, this time in Port, Leaving hundreds without power for days, the city says contingency plans are in place. Cables were cut during load shedding. So when you have that kind of damage, it inevitably damages the water supply to the residents in the area because it's not load shedding. Simply the infrastructure is damaged to the extent that there's no power supply. But and then again, we're not sitting back and say we can't do anything because it's load shedding. The city hopes to have independent power producers feeding into the grid before the end of the year. The damage to the industrial substation which exploded is estimated at around 3 million rands. The issue about our, our fleet of infrastructure is the fact that we are really running a very aging infrastructure. Uh, probably almost about 80% of our infrastructure is, is, is old, uh, so it needs to be uh, replaced or revamped. But we can still run with some of it due to maintenance. But with load shedding, it means that even that maintenance is actually not being done because of, because of the dangers that are involved during, during load shedding. While the city battles to keep the lights on, businesses are counting their losses. Nur Nakim owns a butchery in Bosmont. He says he gave away stock worth 100,000 rand. This completely shut us down. You can see we almost have no customers. I have nothing on the shelves, nothing to sell. All my stock that was on the shelf, I needed to distribute it. Patience is running thin on the streets. I must say that uh, uh, firstly our problem starts with the load shedding schedules uh, because like we've heard from the MMC that the, the equipment is not equipped for that type of uh, on and off switching. Residents are really inconvenienced. It has a detrimental effect on the community per se. It has an effect on the schools within the community. It has an effect on the businesses within com the community. So apart from all my meat and cold foods that has gone off, I've got a three-month-old baby, no water, hot water to feed the baby. My business here, I'm behind now with 10,000 rand to pay my staff. ESCOM has warned that high levels of load shedding were expected for the week.